It's a year late, but a new report attempts to predict what Queensland might look like in half a century's time. The state government has released a draft of its regional plan for growth in the southeast. State political reporter George Roberts has more. There may be fewer than 4 million residents now, but the government thinks southeast Queensland will be home to more than 10 million people in 50 years. So it's planning for it. For the first time, we've actually included a 50-year vision for the southeast Queensland region. It's largely being welcomed. It gives the flexibility, especially along the right rail, where we can have a higher density and go up. I think there's little doubt that we'll support many elements of it. The state's development lobby is happy to see more construction coming, but says the plan needs measurable outcomes. They're either meeting them or they aren't, and if they aren't, what we need to do to fix that. The draft South East Queensland Regional Plan has been released for public comment. A final version is due mid next year. So this is truly um, an Australian first, where we have articulated a 50-year vision that talks about the type of economic prosperity we want in the South East Queensland region and how we're going to get it. It's the third version since 2005. In that year, South East Queensland aimed to have 60% of new housing in so-called greenfield areas, with 40% from city redevelopment, known as infill. In 2009, that was revised to a 50-50 split between greenfields and infill. Now the pendulum has swung towards 60% infill. In areas like Brisbane, 94% of new homes are slated as infill or inner city redevelopment. Less backyard cricket for our kids because the house blocks uh, that could be created are now only going to be 6% of the total. Despite warnings there's already an oversupply of apartments, the government's pressing ahead in favour of city development. Because uh, this plan is to ride out any boom and bus cycle that may happen. It's a plan for the long term. Unless like previous plans, it's replaced again in a few years. George Roberts, ABC News, Brisbane.